Howdy folks, this is Michael Kreider coming to you for Android Community, and today we're looking at the Logitech Z515 wireless USB speaker. Now it's branded as a wireless USB speaker, but in fact it also includes Bluetooth, which is the reason that we're reviewing it for, well, an Android site. Although, I have to say that it does not make that entirely obvious. You can see here's uh, the entire device, back to front and all that. And there's no mention of Bluetooth anywhere, including in here underneath this, uh, this little flap here, if you can see it on the camera. Um, it does have a little slot for a U your USB connector, and that goes into your computer naturally. And it can uh, slide down in there very snug. But since we're really only interested in Android phones, we're going to review this from that perspective. So, let me make sure I'm still in focus here. Mm. All right. Now, it's uh, pretty slim for a speaker unit that of this, this uh, volume. Um, I'd say it's about nine inches wide, maybe four inches tall. And uh, it's designed to be a little compact, battery-powered speaker that you can take just about anywhere, say to a party or if you're in a car and you don't have easy access to the, uh, to the stereo there. And it connects naturally via Bluetooth. I've already connected it to my Galaxy Nexus here. And the uh, pairing process is not exactly uh, obvious. What you're going to do is once you've turned it on, you're going to use these volume buttons here on the back. This is the power. I'm just going to turn it off real quick, and you can see those status lights are off. And you turn it on again, and you're going to get this blinking light indicating that there is no wireless connection. Now, you just press these two buttons for a few seconds. Let's see here. That should do it. And, nope, still not in pairing mode. See, this is not entirely obvious. I had to break out the instructions for this, which is kind of an embarrassing thing for a technology blogger to admit. But, um, well, it's some very sparse controls. See, there, now we're in pairing mode. Okay. Now, let's see if I can get it reconnected to my phone here. Whew. Just a second. All right, looks like we have re-established the connection. And the pairing itself, once you figure out how to get it into pairing mode, is not difficult. And you can see that uh, light has stopped blinking, so we're officially connected. Now, just so you can hear the output of this thing, I'm going to go ahead and play some music over here. Get you some Bobby Darren going. Now, this is at the very, very low speaker volume. Let's go to the next one. And for a unit of this size and this weight, it's got a surprising amount of volume into it. So I'm going to stop talking for just a minute and let you hear exactly how loud this thing can get. I got rhythm. I got music. I got my gal who could ask for anything. All right, we're at the top end of its range here. I got daisies. So I'll go ahead and pause. In green pastures. I got my gal who and could ask for anything more. Listen to it. Walking Old man camera. trouble. I don't mind him. And maybe you can't hear it through these cameras' uh, microphone, but there's definitely some fuzz at the top end. That's probably more to do with the Bluetooth connection than anything else, because the A2DP stereo connection for Bluetooth is not the most high-fidelity music connection out there. But um, that's not really the fault of the speakers or Logitech. That's just the way it's built. That's just the way the standard is. I'm kind of surprised that with Bluetooth 3 they haven't done anything more with that, but hey, it is what it is. All right, let's take another look at the hardware around here. As you can see, here's your charging ports, and you do have a 1 8 inch or 1.25 inch port there for a standard audio cable. And then around the back, you've got your power and volume. And that's, that's pretty much it. There's, there's no sort of controls or anything. I would have liked to have seen some music controls because the A2DP standard does support some basic, you know, play, pause forward, back, track uh, stuff, but that's about it. I'd say, as far as the speaker itself is concerned, it's a little pricey for what you're looking for because the retail price of these things is about $100 right now. But you can find it lower, like Amazon has it for about $76, $77 right now, and I'd say if you're looking for a small, powerful speaker that's pretty, it's pretty reliable and, it's, uh, and it'll run off a of battery for when you just don't have access to an outlet, it's not a bad deal. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the other stuff you get 
with the speaker itself. You've got that USB connection for connecting to a laptop. And again, if your laptop has USB, you don't have to worry about anything else. You get this spiffy carrying case. And here's your wall wart charger. And that's about it. So, a versatile little speaker system that's a little pricey for what you get. But it's plenty reliable. The, the, the build quality is good. The battery life that I've been getting is about four and a half hours with a pretty good, a decent amount of music. And it, it will fill a room full of music. Like, I can fill my entire uh, living room with music out of this, even if people are talking. So I'd say it's a pretty nice addition if you're going somewhere for a party. If you're setting up a party, you can probably do better with the speakers you've already got. But if you're bringing the music and you just need something you can throw into a jacket or something, well, this might be what you're looking for. All right, this is the Logitech Z515 wireless USB speaker system, and I'm Michael Kreider for Android Community. Thank you very much.